Hey everybody. So I was doing a little more maintenance and I decided to gloss up the walls. I was putting the side back on there when I pulled the back piece off to do that. And I thought this was a rather interesting view of the whole thing and it's given me a lot of ideas for how to improve this design and why the walls were even needed. Having a stable floor definitely goes a long way but you definitely need the walls to keep the wobble going down from there but really what needs to be done is all four of these screws have to go away completely a single slide rail for the z-axis probably attached to the front here that would do all the traveling up and down is really the way to go with this design I used to work uh, on industrial embroidery machines ten years ago and I'll a link a video I found of that. I just favorited it recently to show you the basic idea of how much different or how similar it is really. Uh, it's a stable head and the platform moves around. But what really had me pull this video out is while I was pulling the back off I split this piece of wood right there. There we go. So what I'm going to do is it's still relatively stable. I'm going to drop a lot of super glue on this and then push it back into place. That should give it a lot more stability. Had MakerBot included washers like they really should have, this problem would have been minimized but not eliminated. So here's an example where you can see how much the nut has dug into the wood. And there's a couple of examples right there. This one's pretty bad as well. And it's not so much an over-tightening issue. What it is is you tighten it until it's finger tight. And in this particular case with this one, that was finger tight. So the wood itself was structurally unstable. And looking from the side, I don't know how good the light is, but you can probably see how the nut just tore through the wood. So what I'm going to do is dig that guy out, saturate the whole area with super glue, and uh, clamp it down. That should make a much stronger bond. I think having the super glue in there will kind of plasticize the wood and make it much, much better. I'll probably pull that one out too, and probably a few of them right here. This is sitting stable right now, and the walls have to dry from all the uh, gloss I'm putting on them. So I guess this is going to be another set of videos coming up here describing this process, and at this point, now I could almost take the whole thing apart really just because it comes apart really simply at this point but I don't know that I really want to do that right this moment it's a big project eventually I want to strip it down and rebuild it completely put washers in everywhere uh, saturate the wood with super glue where it's needed to help plasticize that but uh, that is definitely another day for a full teardown and rebuild so uh, I'll get back to another video when I know what the next one's about. So here's my basic procedure. I've saturated the wood with uh, super glue and clamped this down relatively tight. I'm trying not to compress the wood too much though. I still want it to maintain its regular uh, density, thickness, uh, standards completely or at least as much as possible. I just don't know that I can repair some of the uh, digging in that the nuts did when they uh, went on which is unfortunately. Let me just get this out of the way here. So these regular clamps are definitely not strong enough. I used to have a ton of these small C clamps, but now I can't find them anywhere, of course, that I'm looking for them. But right here, you can see how flexible this is. Uh, some people are making their bots out of quarter inch acrylic, and basically, you'd still get a lot of flex. So, that's definitely a weakness to the design overall. It needs to be a lot more rigid and stable, unfortunately. I don't know that that would really be a cause for any of the the uh, axis problems I was having. Probably not. Once it's put together, the whole thing is relatively stable. 
And that's definitely a good thing about the design. It's certainly a critical factor for any design. And I've had this on for a few minutes here, so let's loosen this up. So this should be just a little bit better, I am hoping. I'll know when I put it back together. I've got the other parts way over there. They're going to need a, probably a couple hours to really uh, cure. I may put them together sooner than that because I can be kind of impatient like that. But we'll see. I just put a second coat of gloss on them maybe half an hour ago, 20 minutes probably. So I should give them at least another half hour to a full hour before doing anything else with them. And that'll give me some more time to uh, hopefully fix some of this here, or at least try and stabilize some of the potential damage. So that's it for this one. See you in a few. Alright, so this is finally it. I've glossed uh, basically the outsides of the front side and back here. I've left the top and the side here to be done eventually. I really don't want to pull all these boards off at all. So I've just got the power running to uh, see how things are going, make sure that I've got everything connected back up again. And that does seem to be the case. I'm not putting the plastic covers back on until this is dried for at least a day or so. I don't want them to stick on. The only other change I made is that uh, behind these uh, stoppers here, you can probably see that I've put a piece of brass. And that is to help the rods really stay put against the inner walls. So I did the same on that side as well. Uh, there's an obvious one right there. This one I cut small enough to put behind and it was really difficult to position. So I made it that a little of the sides are sticking out. But this is pretty much it. I'm definitely happy with this gloss. I like it a lot better. It gives the whole thing a lot more luster. And... Uh, I probably should have done it first, way back when, before I did the assembly, but pulling this apart has definitely been easy enough, and basically pulling it apart is a basic function and a task that you really have to do every now and then to make sure this is still running. So the whole thing could use another couple more coats and properly sand it in between every coat, a little rough looking now if I wanted to make it really really nice but uh, it's good enough to protect the surface and that's what matters at this point so I'm gonna stick the tools back inside here see if we can get a look through the other end so everything fits really nicely the power itself here there's plenty of room underneath that's given off a lot of good air and even when let me pull the Susan out of here so that's just about three quarters of an inch of space and that's definitely pretty good for what it needs there's air kicking out of the front and the back here I don't know if I definitely can't get it angled up a little better if I had cut this a little better, you can probably see there's a bit of a gap along this line, and that's because of the grill for the fan. Uh, that's some really nice air there. Oh yeah, the other thing I did was to notch these down. They used to be way up here. Now I can actually get an Allen wrench into this space so that I don't have to pull uh, the bottom off to pull the top off. To I've just basically made it a lot easier to access. And I don't know that the same really needs to be done on the front, no, because it's a different construction piece entirely. So that's it for this one. Next time I'll gloss up the top when I take those pieces off. When I do the uh, Z-axis extender, that will be a time to do that. 
and the time to do this side here with a nice gloss coat I don't know what I would like to do for a modification is pull all of this off the bot entirely and uh, that would definitely be a feat I don't know particularly where I would put it all and that's really the next major consideration could put it underneath the bottom here which would actually be kinda good if I made another slot or a tray then uh, basically the fan that's there now would cool off these components I would have to run the power button somewhere else which I want to do anyway right now it's right there hey now there we go so it's just getting a little loose back here apparently kinda got worried there for a second there is a next generation of electronics coming out which makes all these boards a lot simpler so uh... just like the human de body developed with the appendix and genes have a lot of spare junk in them a lot of this here is just spare junk that isn't really needed and all these boards can be shrunk down by half at least so uh... that could be something to look forward to next time if I uh, go that route and decide to upgrade this as I go but really there's a lot more practical things to do such as extending this x-axis that's definitely my major design feature that I really want to implement basically it would just use this same piece here as the basic design and just have an extended bed that comes out here and on the back as well right so that's it thanks for watching as always see ya